So this is a video I was hoping I wouldn't have to make. I have a slight correction to one of the three levels farms for guardians. So let's get into it. But in all seriousness, though, I don't mind making this video. Uh, there is a correction I need to make to a couple of the designs of the Guardian Farms. Uh, everything in that original video still works. However, there is one uh, element that I overlooked in my design of these. YouTube users JezNG and Shivaku M. I'm sorry if I'm getting those names wrong. Terrible reading names. Uh, but pointed out in my comments uh, about adding a roof. And originally in my head was going skylight. And uh, guardians are not affected by any light level. However, um, as Shivaku M pointed out, they do have a lower spawning potential when they're exposed to sky access. So not skylight, but sky access. So by adding something like a slab roof, even though the light level underneath those is still at 14, uh, because we only have this one slab, they now have a significantly greater chance to increase their spawn because they don't have access to the sky now. That means that we can upgrade with very little effort the first two versions of the farm. The third version, that already has obsidian on top of it, so it's already blocking skylight access, so we don't need to worry about that. So uh, there is also going to be a new world download attached to this uh, with the changes. They're very minor, so you can still get this from the old world download, but let's take a look at these. So version one, we've just added a bottom half slabs um, just above the areas where we have the soul sand. And we included on top of the portal to spawn prevent. You could still use glass there, but whatever. This is supposed to be cheap. So this is going to raise your rates a little bit. You're going to get some extra crystals and cod mainly. A little bit of increase in shards, but not much. We're still going to use the same nether kill and collection system though, because that collection system can keep up with that already. And then we just added a slab roof to version two as well. Uh, that's just bottom half slab, so it already takes care of the spawn proofing on its own and then blocks that skylight access. So previously this farm was running at about uh, 50 mobs loaded at any given time. So it's only 50 out of 70 of the mob cap. And now this farm is running uh, at mob cap. There is just a small change to the collection system. All we've done is increase the number of hoppers that we have there because this actually raises the rates to about 177,000 items per hour. So that's an actually pretty significant increase. And as long as you keep it within the chunk loaded area, you can see even though we've extended it still well inside the chunk loaded area, this is still self loading. So thanks to those users who commented on YouTube, definitely always interested in feedback and questions that you may have down in the comments. I try and stay pretty active down in there. Uh, but again, do keep in mind the idea behind these farms is they are original designs. Uh, I am not going to be stealing anyone's designs for these videos. And if I do use someone else's design, I'm going to make sure I do it with their written consent. Um, so, for example, like including El Mango Slime Farm in one of the videos and one of the un other upcoming videos, <clears throat> Gold Farm, <clears throat> coming soon, <clears throat> those have permission to be used. So, until the next one, have a good one. Bye.